Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link's down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So this has been quite a weird day, mainly due to the fact that um, Elon Musk came out and said that the Tesla was buying a lot of Bitcoin, actually $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. And that threw the market completely off. So, so most of the action in the market was basically in the cryptocurrency market as most cryptocurrency just went bananas. But we did have some movement in the foreign exchange market, not a lot, but we had some. So US dollars started depreciating early in the session and then depreciated again. And yes, that was not what I had planned for this Monday. I was hoping for a continuation of the depreciation of the US dollar. So uh, we could basically start, uh, um, well, trading these uh, these uh, currency pairs that we have been focusing on for months now um, in the same manner that we have been. So at this point, just been on a on a uh, waiting for the US dollar to fall, uh, but it has not done that at this point. So it'll be, it's not clear whether or not it will start depreciating or appreciating at this at this point. But we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have touched the 20 exponential moving average and we have bounced from the 20 exponential moving average. We are testing these previous uh, uh, resistance levels here. We have been here numerous times in the past uh, three to four weeks. And it looks like a really difficult area to basically get past for this currency pair. I think we need... Uh, basically a 1% depreciation of the US dollar in order to get this to go much higher. Probably not 1%, but half a percent depreciation. You will see this currency pair break above uh, 1375.77 and uh, head basically um, to higher levels. There's just too much uh, support underneath here for this to, to break down. We have tried that several times in the past, but it does not happen. At some point, this is going to rally, and it's going most likely going to rally to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, they are all looking fairly bullish at this point. We are on the edge of being overstretched here in the bullish band. You can see that we have some, um, some. We probably could get up to thirteen seventy seven. That is basically beyond these previous highs here. If that happens, we'll probably stretch it a little bit higher then have a pullback and then go even higher. But at this point, pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, roughly at the 1367, the 40, 40 exponential of 1362, and the 50 run the, right underneath are all uh, buying opportunities at this point. So let's look at the US dollar yen. We saw a pullback here, but the 200 moving average is acting as support at this moment. We have been here for four consecutive days and usually when you just hang around here you're not going higher you'll see this fall uh, we can see here in the stochastic for example it is starting to turn around crosses the green line here becoming bearish so we may well see this currency pair drop back towards these previous levels here that will be as you can see I think that the first major um, support area will be roughly 104, 461. That is at the 20 uh, moving average here in the in the Bollinger Band. We'll probably bounce off that when we get there. Otherwise, technical indicators are turning around. They are still bullish at this point. We're significantly overbought, and uh, we were overstretched here when we were uh, testing that 300 moving average. But since then, we have turned around, and we will most likely head towards the middle here of the Bollinger Band. If that breaks, then we are going back towards these previous channel here and uh, to much, much lower levels. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. 
As you can see, we have bounced from the 150 million week average, and we're kind of stuck here between the 20 exponential, the blue line, and the 100 moving average. Um, we have gone back and forward, and uh, it is not very clear at this point where this is going. I do favor the upside. It probably take uh, some time uh, before we break the 50 moving average and go and target these previous highs again. The 150 uh, seem to be very supportive, so it would be a fairly uh, surprising if we break below the, 100, uh, the 150 moving average. If we uh, if we have an, a depreciation of the U.S. dollar, then we will see this skyrocket to the outside. We're on the edge of being oversold. We were significantly outside here at the Bullinger band. We did make a trade here that that did uh, that was fairly good. And uh, at this point, we're just looking. Probably, if you have a pullback towards the bottom of the Bullinger band, then you probably could have another entry for this and target the middle of the bullish band and probably also these highs. But I would say they would probably take roughly two to three weeks in order for us to get anywhere in, at this stage. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. That's, this is looking more uh, promising. As you can see, we have broken through these moving averages. Technical indicators are becoming very bullish at this point. Stochastic is very bullish. We have broken the middle of the Bollinger Band here. And at this point, we are most likely going to head towards the top of the Bollinger Band. So this is a move of roughly 1%. And um, we most likely will see some pull back and forwards here. And uh, we'll most likely head towards the 0 0.80. Took some time, but pay attention to the US dollar. If that starts to appreciate again, this will fall below the 50 moving average and head towards the 100 moving average. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, no, the US dollar and Canadian dollar. And this has started to turn around quite aggressively. This is a trade I'm considering to enter at this point. The stop loss right above here and a target of these lows uh, down here. So we may see a pullback in, for example, oil, and that will work against the, the Canadian dollar. And we may see um, the depreciation of the US dollar. And therefore, we may see this tumble quite aggressively if though both of those things happen at the same time. At this point, technical indicators are turning around quite aggressively. Uh, um, and we may see this fall towards the bottom of the bullish band. And that's a drop of 0.74% to the downside. That is probably as far as it will go in the in the short run so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much